who has the best hearing? <laughs> Well, in the bird world, it's pretty much assumed that barn owls have the best hearing. We know that they hear high frequencies better than other species. We know that they hear low frequencies better than other species. We also know that barn owls have offset ears. That helps them with spatial localization. What we don't know, and what we haven't known for a really long time, is how their middle ear actually works to transfer sound waves that are in air into mechanical energy which is in the middle ear, into pressure changes in hydro-driven ear. That's what the inner ear is because it's filled with fluid. It's the same with human ears. Yes. But birds have a very different mechanism. So birds have a single ear bone, sort of the ancestral state. Mammals, like us, we have three. And we know mammal hearing is very, very good. And it's been assumed that single bone mechanisms are not as efficient. Generally in birds, when a bird ear is exposed to a very high frequency sound, it loses vibration. But we know that barn owls hear very, very well. And this is where bird ears, right, the bone structure becomes very, very important. Most birds, it kind of looks like the end of a trombone. Barn owl middle ear bone has a bulbous foot plate. And so what we think is happening at high frequency sounds for the barn owl is it's shifting from a piston motion to a rocking motion and a back and forth motion. And because the end of their foot plate is bulbous, it is actually causing changes in pressure in that inner ear that can be detected by the hair cells that are in there. And so it's still transferring energy at high frequencies. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> oh, I need to tell you another cool thing. Oh, great. So, because you did my ask, is there any, like, truly translational, practical application to this? Oh, and that absolutely is. We actually have middle ear implants. They are designed after a single bone system. And we've noticed in humans that if they're exposed to high-frequency sounds, they stop to transfer that, just like a bird ear that we've studied. And so we think that by designing these, these middle ear replacements and modeling them more after what a barn owl ear looks like, we can actually reclaim that high frequency sound transfer, even in somebody who has had to have their middle ear replaced. Cool.